Hi friends, let's try to answer a question which Mac is the best for iOS development. In my opinion there are two very good options. A budget option is Mac Mini and more versatile option but way more pricey option is MacBook Pro. Currently 16 inch MacBook Pro is the best one for iOS development. And I have both of them here. Mac Mini and uh, MacBook Pro 16 inch one and I will compare those to see how big difference is in real life cases uh, working with uh, Xcode projects. In uh, Geekbench tests those looks quite similar. MacBook Pro is a little bit faster of course because I have i7 processor in my MacBook Pro. Mac Mini have i5 processor. But in Geekbench tests there are very close to each to other and I expect that maybe Real life difference is not so big between those two. Let's test that. Okay, let's start our little experiment. I have one monitor split to two sides. On this side I have Mac Mini and this side is 16 inch MacBook Pro. And we are going to launch the same project on both machines and see how fast they are compiling. Currently I have opened a Swift UI project and let's clean let's clean project and make clean build to compare speed between both machines. I will try to it was let's say to started together. So building speed looks visually about the same. Launching and launching. So there is difference but not three times difference. So I uh, just remembered this machine costs about thousand dollars. This machine costs almost three thousand dollars to be more correct in details. And this machine uh, was thousand and three hundred euros for me. And this was two thousand seven hundred eighty euros. So price difference is very significant. Speed difference not so much. And uh, maybe you will see some difference in uh, live preview. A little bit bigger difference than on compiling. Simulators works fine on both machines. Everything works just perfect. Let's open content view and let's try to use preview on both machines. Here we go. This, this preview already become a little bit glitchy, but I would like to remind you that uh, here I have only 8 GB of RAM and I can easily upgrade this by myself. And here I have 16 GB of RAM, so that's different. And of course, pro processor is a little bit more powerful here, but it still works here. It still works and it's fine. Preview here is yeah definitely a little bit faster. Okay, that was Swift UI project. I'm switching projects now and I will build and play around with just a Swift project. That is Swift project without storyboards. It is not very challenging project, let's say small project and all the user interface is developed and built in code. So let's try try let's try that project. And again, I will try to build project on both machines in the same, start to build in the same time. One, two, three. Again, building very fast. Oops. <laughs> How is that possible? This was faster. Mac Mini was faster on this project. Let's try again. Okay, again. One, two, three.
So as you may see, speed here is about the same and uh, Mac Mini somehow is even faster. Uh, that is a desktop uh, class processor and this is mobile processor. And if you can hear some noise, that noise is coming from a 16 inch MacBook Pro. Mac Mini is still silent and slightly, slightly warm. And if you look on our processor load, yes, as you may see on this graph, I will try to bring it closer. As you may see here, this processor working on full uh, on full power here we can see a little bit more relaxed graph but uh, you already saw how you already saw compilation time so basically i believe that if you can uh, if you are working from the one place and you are not moving around a lot then uh, mac mini is actually better choice than uh, MacBook Pro for at least for iOS development. Uh, add i7 processor here, add more even third party cheaper RAM to this machine and uh, that machine will kill that MacBook Pro. And uh, if you will take a look on uh, Geekbench tests, you can see that i7 Mac mini is uh, quite po powerful machine still today. It is already about a year old machine model, but it performs very well. Of course, you can get something in the middle. If you will choose iMac, you will get very nice monitor, but uh, iMacs uh, cu currently coming, all the, all the default uh, hard drives are fusion drives, which are not so fast like this SSD drive. And if you will start to upgrade RAM, uh, SSD, then the iMac will become more pricey quite fast. Okay, that was it. Uh, thank you for watching. If you <laughs> did so far, leave like and comments uh, if you was interested in this post. And yeah, decide to subscribe if you like to see more videos about iOS development, on app development and freelancing in general. See you on the next one.